So we're fixing uh, buzzy reeds. Right. So you got these two screws in the front that you pull out first. All right. Two back here. First All thing right. you want to do is, oh, you can do it. You want to look at. So, this is male, so that's it. Oh, okay. Just, so it depends what draw bars in or not? Which sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. On this one it doesn't, so... Okay. We'll figure it out. It's really easy. All right. So think a little like a saxophone player. <laughs> Fixing reeds. So there are the two screws in the back. There's one right there, and then there's another one right there. All right. Just gonna put a piece of tape across these guys. All right. So we know So this will happen with uh, weather variations. It's not gonna happen all the time or something like that. But that's why I say. On the reeds when they're when these are new, because they can have heating problems just when they're being broken in. Okay. Okay, so it's on this one. Mm -hmm. So you know it's the second one up. Mm -hmm. One two, so you just count up one two. Mm -hmm. And here, yeah, yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's a little buzzy. So I'll just go in and just nudge it over a little bit, and it might get worse. So then we go to. The, if that's the case, then we nudge it to the other side. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's all it is. What, what's happening is, is that sometimes it's not sitting perfectly in the middle, mm -hmm. so that this is touching one side of the, you know, or the other. I see. I, that would make sense from the sound, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, so on the other one, it's the other reed. So we're going to... It's the top one. Yeah. And how could you tell? Well, because when I play it with a tape over it, it doesn't buzz. Got it. So I know it's the... Then it has I to understand. Be the other one. Right. Totally, okay. Sympathetic vibration from the other no. one? No. Sometimes what happens is when these are pressed down, these, these screws are tied down all the uh -huh. way. Yeah. When they're down, they distort the, the shape of this whole piece of wood a little bit, mm -hmm. and they can make it buzz. So, huh. so we're gonna, I'm going to put leave the tape back up here, and I'm going to I'm going to lock this down. Okay. And see if it, if it buzzes again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like that's like at the factory. When I used to go to inspect these all the time, mm -hmm. if it was buzzing, the guy would sometimes, instead of really fixing it the way I showed you to, mm -hmm. he would just loosen the screw a little bit. I see. Which is a cheating way of doing it. See, so it is that one. Okay. So mm-hmm. I can tell you've been to the factory. <laughs> I know, yeah, I spent a lot of time with those guys learning how to do this. What's your, um, the instrument you're best at playing? I'm a guitar player primarily. I've been mm -hmm. playing for 50 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this F, you can just, you can see the notes are actually marked. And sometimes they're a little hard to read. Uh -huh. Let's get this. Yeah, you can hear it, you can hear it rattling. Mm -hmm. so, well. Sure that it's still okay. What's this uh, little tool you're using? Is it just any random piece of metal will do? Yeah, you can use an exacto knife. Uh huh. Um, you know, that's a little tool that they made for me in the factory, but really you could just use an exacto knife to do it. Okay, good. So let's lock it down and make sure it's still okay. Okay. Rock and roll. Yeah.
Here, let me play it for a minute. There we go. Show you. 